Good day, welcome to another video. And I know it's been a long time since I've done one of these videos where I'm just talking to the camera. But these videos, especially when I talk about Trinidad and Trinidad accent and whatnot, are the most popular videos on this channel. So of course I have to give you what you want. So I was thinking after my last video on Trini Words, it might be a good idea to try to teach you guys how to talk Trini. So without further ado, this is how to talk like a Trinidadian or how to talk like a Trini. All right. I was thinking of how we could do this because this is, is still not to be much more difficult than I thought it would. So I, I'm thinking that I'll have a very short conversation. I'm going to put the conversation up on the screen in proper English and then I'm going to go over that conversation and change it to how we would say it as Trinis, as Trinidadians. So this is the conversation. So I'll have it up on the screen here. Are you going to the grocery store today? No, I'm not. Why do you ask? Do you need something? Oh, never mind. Just wanted to know. So let's look at this sentence right here. This is how you would say it in normal English. So when you're speaking with the Trini accent, you speak very quickly and you want to get your point across with the least amount of words possible. All right, so it's like a shorthand we use to get our points across. So we will take normal proper sentences and we would eliminate any word not necessary to get the core meaning of the sentence about. And that's something I always want you to remember. So let's look at the things we would take out. So that first sentence, are you going to the grocery store today? The only meaningful words in that is, you going grocery store today. We don't need a, we don't need to, we don't need the. All right, so let's break it down. We're just saying, going grocery store today, and in Trinidad, it's understood that the grocery is a store. So to us, that's somewhat redundant. You don't have to say that twice. So it's going grocery today. All right. So that's the first thing eliminated. Let's look at the sentence, second sentence. No, I'm not. Why do you ask? Do you need something? We don't need I'm not. When you say no, you have the meaning across already. Why do you ask? Why, why do you need do you ask? You don't need that, you just need why. Need something, you don't need do you because it's understood this conversation is between two people. I don't need to identify you anymore, all right? We're having that conversation. So, need something. And let's look at the last part. Oh, never mind, just wanted to know. We don't need the oh, never mind. Wanted to know, all right? Not just wanted to know. And that's the basic structure that we will go with. We eliminate the words that we don't want and this is what we'll end up with. Going grocery today? No. Why? Need something? Never mind. Wanted to know. Now again, that doesn't sound too much like Trini yet because there are further things we have to do. For instance, we don't say going. We, will, we say going. We don't need that large G. So we eliminate that from, from there. And, and then like, uh, we don't say something. We say something. All right, so we cut those words down even further. You see how efficient this language is? I tell you, it's extremely efficient. Everybody should talk like this. Not really, but you know what I mean. All right, so we start to eliminate parts of words to get our meaning across faster, okay? And then of course, we have to add the Trini slang, the Trini flavor. And that is where we start to combine words, start to replace words with words we develop over time. So, the first sentence will end up being, you're going grocery today? The second one will be, nah, why? Need some? Don't worry, just asking. All right, so you see how we took what was a proper sentence structure and by taking words out and switching things around, instead of you, you say, yeah. Instead of no, you say, nah, and, and things like that. And instead of saying, oh, never mind, we don't say that to Trinidad, never mind, we go say, don't worry, all right? Just ask him, all right? And then we take out the G from certain words and whatnot because, again, faster, swift. So that's basically how you would take a conversation, a very short conversation like this, and when you massage it, and when you take out certain things and you replace it, you end up with a Trini way of speaking. But, um, you know, I'm looking at this, and we, we actually take it a bit further, yeah? and I don't know how to, connect rules you know and say 
take words out of what are those some other guidelines but we could end up with even something totally different because again it's more than just replacing words and whatnot we have a, a tendency to have certain sayings and whatnot to get across the meaning of things so this is how I would have had this conversation with another Trinidadian in Trinidad okay going grocery today nah why need something or what don't study it just asking and that's it and even in the last sentence don't study it just asking we don't even need to just asking don't study it is enough all right so you have the meaning there right away so that is how you take from the original sentence to how we say it in Trinidadian and to be honest I'm not even sure if this video was any help because I realized that I was trying to explain it in rules and whatnot but uh, maybe there are no rules the best thing to remember is efficiency if, if there is a word in that sentence that is not totally necessary to get the meaning of that sentence we consider it embellishment we will take it off and then of course flow flow is so important when you're talking trini you know you're going to the grocery store today you know that kind of up and down wave formation of the way trinidadians speak that people say so sweet to hear all right i have to agree trinidad accent very sweet okay so you have to have that flow that rhythm inside you when you speak in trinidadian all right so anyway i'll end this video there again i'm not too sure how valuable this was but i hope somebody learned something because um again it maybe it's me trying to add rules to something that basically have no rules it's something we grew up with it's just the way we speak and even when i'm speaking to these videos i try to structure my sentences and slow myself down a little bit so people could understand me who are not trinidadian thanks for watching the video and i will make more of these talking to the camera videos as we go along remember to follow me on instagram and of course if you like the video give me a thumbs up you know hit that like button and subscribe to the channel please okay so until the next one i'll see you guys thanks for watching